Oh my god. Hey guys, so I went to Jets. It's just a walk up the hill through some little tall grasses and stuff. So I got their, their pepper and slices because they're, they're like only a dollar something and I got two. You know I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <sighs> it's uh, sunny but it's super chilly. Um, a fleece sweater would be nice right now but I was too lazy. I left it in my office. Um, try and decide if I should just go eat in a car or um, eat in the room. We'll see. Today is a okay day same shit different day type thing but I'm trying to not let certain things get in the way and I totally forgot because I told myself I wanted to do vlogtober but then for some reason I didn't realize yesterday was October 1st and today it was like oh shit it's the second so I missed the day so might as well start today so try and get through here yeah just start today and um go from there so then it'll give me something to do and yeah I think I'm just gonna sit in the car and chill by myself I'm back oh my god it's really cold in the car this is not gonna be a mukbang it's gonna be part of my vlogtober and I got Jets pizza I've done this before so you guys want to see and still want to see this is big for like a dollar something they're humango and it's actually colder in the car than outside. Woo, my breath. But yeah, super excited. So at least you guys will see videos from me every single day to the end of October. November, zero one for November. Rock number, that sounds funny. Rock must for sure. I have an easy day today, so it's not too stressful look at this cheese not too stressful mm -mm 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 -mm. um parmesan cheese do i need it no i don't but i'm just gonna put it anyway I'm making a mess here it was actually easier to eat in the office because <laughs> then i could place this on the table because I have no table on me so I'm like having to carry it also got some crushed peppers Let's see. crushed peppers yeah work is okay my buddy um, is not in today hope she's okay um, I'm gonna eat this. We'll hold like this. Yeah, she's not in today. Um, work? Same shit, different day, right? So the two mean girls is acting like their usual ignorant selves. I've been saying good morning to them since last week. One of them was gone for two days, Thursday and Friday, somewhere. So, I saw her a few times this morning when I came to work. So I didn't bother say, to say good morning or anything. But, um, like maybe an hour later, I'm like, you know what, just be mature, blah, blah, blah. Like, the bigger me, as always. I said good morning, it was damn loud, and I know she did, she heard it. She didn't respond, so basically, it's the ignore, um, game. Like, what the fuck did I do to you? Did, did they honestly think that we would waste our time jeopardizing their work life? Like, not putting their docs in? Because we all have different times to walk in. I mean, different times to start work. There's a 7 o'clock, 
some 30 and 8 o'clock. So, our first patients are usually in at appointment is like, ugh, I can't talk. This is too good. Hmm. Starts at 7.30. And they usually arrive here. If they're good, they arrive here 30 minutes early. Some o'clock, some 15. So the people, the MAs, medical assistant, that starts work at 7, our first step, which means whoever checks in during those times We'll have to get those patients, including their patients, depending what time their starts. Um, and we all have different providers each day, and so. So yeah, a week ago, me and my buddy were sun clockers, and we were already putting in four patients, our patients as well as our other staff members that were coming in later and for some reason we didn't get to that one particular patient which is which belongs to one of those bitches so they're assuming that we didn't and they called downstairs to call my lead and this is drama and, a dra and our lead came up and asked us and stuff and she's like what the fuck and then ever since that day it's been a week already this is the third week no yeah it's been a week this is the second week They've been acting crazy. No, this is the third week because the first week it started Monday when they were acting up. And then ever since that Monday, both of them stopped talking to us. And I finally say like good morning and whatever like on Friday. But now I kind of know it's the ignore game. <laughs> the stupid. They're both over four years old. And this is how they act. They're like... I don't know what I did to them. And it's awkward and sensitive to me because I'm not that strong of a person. I get hurt easily. I, I get offended easily. and but, but you know, it gets old and I'm doing my best not to let it get to me, but... I'm not gonna lie, last night and off and on since it happened, like, I've been thinking about it because I'm like, what am I gonna expect the next day to work? What am I gonna expect the day after? What am I gonna expect when the, the people who are supporting me are not there that day? So, they're gonna have more advantage to make my day shitty versus when I have someone to back me up. I have to think about that too, but... <sighs> it's just so irritating, like, I'm so sick of this. It's like one job after another. People are just immature. Either they they think they have power over you and they take that power and use it the wrong way to put people down, to make people feel bad, to uh, just everything. Like they're never wrong. And they're always right. And everything that we're doing is obviously to torture them, which is not the case. And I don't think management can really do anything about it, and we were almost in process of getting HR, and something happened, something stopped, and it didn't happen. But I swear to God, if it persists, I'm, I'm coming to the point where I can't sleep at night, I'm coming to work feeling nervous, having major anxiety, wanting to barf, that's not healthy. I'm not having it anymore. I've been there, done it. We're going to have to go to HR. And I thought about confronting them and that might cause more issues and extra drama. And I haven't reached out to my management anymore because they already know what they're capable of. And... It's like with my breath over and over again. I feel like I'm tattletaling when it's like, I should be able to handle this, right? This is adult stuff. But I don't know. I really don't know. Just gonna finish my piece and we'll go into speed mode. So I won't be talking. <laughs>
just got home. I am a 7.30er this week. So tired. I had like really bad headaches. And the sun makes it feel worse. I don't have migraines or anything. I don't know. But I've always been like this for years and years. Uh, ooh. I think the door's open. I wonder if Ava's awake. Catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Okay, go, baby. Do? How are you? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's go. Good Mom got to change. Whee! I like your pants. I like your pants. Cow. Say hi. Okay, I'm going upstairs. It's dark. Ooh. It's dark. Ooh. I look tired. So it was like chilly earlier today, like all the way up to lunchtime, and it got super hot like now. It's freaking like for something. In my room, it's nice and cool in here though. Um, Ava's in here. My parents were fixing something under the sink. I don't know what, but Ava got all paranoid. She thinks her grandpa's in pain. But yeah, um, I've been thinking about a lot of ideas, like DIY stuff for Ava's photo shoot. I'm doing one for Halloween. I'm crazy. I think I'm getting too obsessed and it's stressing me out. I'm doing one for her birthday in November. Oh my God. My daughter just peed on my rug. Had no idea. She had no diapers on. Oh my god.